The Morbid Anatomy Library is a place where hidden ideas and fantastic objects that defy categories and conventions are celebrated and brought to light. It is a place of revelation where scholars, artists, collectors, and dedicated enthusiasts gather to study all things arcane and artfully phenomenal. Joanna Ebenstein created the Morbid Anatomy blog in 2007, and it quickly became an international phenomenon, uniting a community of like-minded seekers and observers. The Morbid Anatomy Library followed in 2008 in the form of a research library in Gowanus, Brooklyn, where the curious and the knowledgeable alike could find a quiet corner to peruse a carefully curated collection of books, artifacts, and curiosities. Ms. Ebenstein, an internationally exhibited artist and lecturer, soon began consulting and curating shows for like-minded institutions around the world. The library specializes in the material history of objects that inhabit the interstices of art, medicine, death, and culture those objects that are of a dark and obscure beauty. By 2009, the library had begun to host classes, workshops, and lectures. Artisans taught the lost arts of wax moulage, anthropomorphic taxidermy, hair work, and the making of relics. Academics delivered lectures on a wide range of subjects that all had one thing in common. They addressed the hidden, mysterious, sometimes disturbing side of cultural history, science, and superstition. At Morbid Anatomy, the 19th century notion of the edifying spectacle was resurrected, and a community of rogue scholars was given a voice and a home. The library partnered with collectors, museums, and artists around the world to shine a light on a hidden and often neglected narrative. People love what the Morbid Anatomy Library does, and their passionate support has been unflagging. Above all, the Morbid Anatomy Library is about community. It is about connecting collectors and curators to one another. Private museums and personal cabinets of curiosities are treasure troves of unseen and often misunderstood objects, and they have all found an audience through Morbid Anatomy. The material culture of the hidden, the forgotten, and the obscure is celebrated and shared. Aesthetic obsessives, mad scientists, romantic historians, wayward naturalists, compulsive collectors, bohemian visionaries, and adventurous artists have all found a home at Morbid Anatomy. Large, established cultural institutions may embody a known history, but it is the smaller, more specialized museums that preserve, protect, and pass on another hidden legacy. It is in this capacity that the Morbid Anatomy Museum will present works by artists outside the mainstream. It will collect and display artifacts that tell lesser known stories and connect visitors to the arcane corners of history. It will be a museum of the uncanny and the overlooked. It will be a place of discovery for the scholar and the novice alike. It will provide inspiration to visitors who come seeking a different kind of education. Here, the alchemy between the objects and the people who love them will work its magic. Most of all, the Morbid Anatomy Museum will provide a public space for interesting people and wondrous things. It will tell a strange and compelling story. It will continue to make history.